many of you, this in the last few days, have realized that you're writing behind your back. Do you know what I mean by that term? Um, that you're writing about yourself. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> you know, I think I, when I was writing Head Case, I was really convinced I was writing about a paralyzed boy. I was, and I had been a physical therapist, and I knew about paralyzed boys, and I could write this story of this wonderful paralyzed boy and all of his yearnings, and then my advisor said, she goes, you know you're that paralyzed boy. <laughs> Big cry. And she was right. I did understand the emotions of that boy, but my subconscious allowed me to believe that I was writing about somebody else. When you reach the end, it's a really good time to take note of what and who you are in your story. I can look at that at the end and say, well, did I really address those things? Is she real? like, are her beliefs strong or are they wishy-washy? Um, usually, and um, I think contradictions are really interesting in characters, I can find some contradictions. We'll talk about that later. Um, contradictions are the things that just aren't consistent in character. And sometimes, in the beginning, there are things a reader will circle and say, I don't understand that. This doesn't sound like your character. But perhaps that's a seed to the inconsistencies in your character's um, life, or that you're not quite seeing the desires all the way through. Probably most important is the last one, the inevitability and surprise. If your ending has both of those things, then it's usually a pretty good one. If you're working really too hard to get that twist into the novel, your inevitability and surprise might be a little bit closer to the middle. Um, and, and again, most important, what is your book really about? And how does it reflect your subconscious?